hey guys welcome back to another vlog today is saturday so i'm currently off now to balcony mix like it's literally uh it's literally 14 47 um i'm on my way to balcony mix guys i got ready so quickly because like today was a work day and i reached a point where i had to tell my manager what's in face i gotta go like <laughs> i have to go <laughs> and the thing is guys i bought a ticket long ago for this balcony mix and today's like a work day well i'm working like seven days a week now going forward right so like i bought the ticket already so at work like they told me only after i bought the tickets like i think they told us this last week and i bought the ticket like way early for balcony mix like way early and i told leo to buy hers as well i think i bought it like last month if i'm not mistaken when i got that message it's a work day and the worst part guys the email was written all day i wanted to cry i was like you're joking so that i can go to balcony mix not sure if i will be able to vlog i'm gonna try by all means too if i don't and if i can't then but what i what i do want to do is that there's certain things that i do need to airdrop but yeah i need to clear my space right now and then bounce you know what i should have done because i'm wearing pink i should have um shaded the my lower lines with pink but now i left, I left my eyeshadow palette I'm about to leave is as a leap head where like the event ends at 10 it's going to three right now i'm hoping that i can make it to sense and hopefully by half past three guys and imagine now three like we had a meeting like they're just like guys we're gonna have like a big team's meeting at three hours <laughs> Could. i'm sorry i can't i'm gonna be meeting up with leo at santon city for us to get something to eat before we get straight into the event i also haven't topped up the tags that they're gonna be giving us because apparently you can skip the lines and pick a tag i still haven't topped that up but anyways guys um i'm gonna say a quick prayer before i leave and then i'm gonna bounce speak to you guys probably tomorrow later tonight i don't know or some i don't know a few days later bye Making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you, I'm only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that dead. The only two, man. How many times have I shown and proved, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. The change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you, I'm only you. Yeah, I got one lawyer, got one in that day. The only two, man. How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving them potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels, to fuck up the deals. I'm posting this stop home. It's me, the Alice and the twins. It's only the real. I'm moving way too humble. Weezy and handed it off. I still got. what's good guys it's the following morning i just woke up and just want to give you a quick summary of like my experience at major before like the vlog continues or ends firstly my voice is gone i've been screaming momo the whole night kevin momo goated kevin momo is like Kevin the Bray. Kevin Momo is like EBD of football. Like, I mean, music, DJing basically because KBD, KDB, <laughs> K 
KDB is the GOAT of football. So it makes sense for Kevin Momo to be like the actual GOAT for music. Like, yo guys, Momo. But yeah, um, I'm actually up. At first things first, I don't think like, I would ever go back to Balcony Mix. Sorry, not sorry. I think out of all the events I've went to, like, I don't even go to events like that. This was my very least favorite. Firstly, I I didn't like the venue because I felt like the venue was way too small for the amount of people that they they had invited and they do this all the freaking time because the time that Major League did used to do um Major League Gardens out of the whole Nazarek spot they'd only like occupy a small area of it like a small area and it's like did you expecting 36,000 people for example why would you occupy like a block you know what I'm saying like occupy more space like why are you guys trying to save on money i think that's the first thing the second thing there was Buskemarinyana because when you bought the ticket right they'd be like the ticket is 300 rand and then when you want to buy the ticket it has like a service fee or whatever fee what i think it's admin fee of 30 rand additional so now you're paying 330 for your ticket and then by the time i think like guys i don't want to lie i think the ticket at yeah, 300 ended up being like 375 if i'm not mistaken but what i'm trying to say is that a 300 ticket came with additional cost it wasn't just 300 and on top of that when you get to the event they were like this is a cashless event um you need to put money in the tags and stuff like that when you did that they still charge you like a uh management fee of 10 rand and for me it doesn't make sense because if i want to put 300 in this tag why am i now putting 310 you understand what i'm saying for me to just have 300 in my tag like why it's giving with scam because why are there so many expenses and guys you'd swear that these expenses that they are including here are expenses that you would think that they would over deliver in the event next like the stage was so low i couldn't see no one <laughs> i couldn't see no one like i would have to Booting is in that azele and like try to like catch content for you guys the way that stage was so low like when i went to paula everything was great guys like we all had space you know what i'm saying it wasn't like annoying like you'd have a good view of the stage and you'd have so much fun here the stage is low in a little scamanyana because why there's so many fees i was so upset like i was mad i'm super duper excited to go to these events i just come back from work i'm tired you know what i'm saying and now we're going there just to just to top it up guys apparently like me and leona ended up getting there at like five relatively around the same time as mk right and the crazy part about this guys is that um when i see on twitter okay crazy part about this is that i only saw three acts like out of the whole lineup i only saw three acts which is gavin momo oscar Mbo played like he was about to finish his set when me and leona arrived and q those are the three people that we saw major league major league <laughs> I think I'll ever go back to that event. I'm sorry. Like, if they was hosted, I'm not going. Like, and easy. I'm not paying because what the heck is that? Like, I swear, when more costs are incurred, you think people would over deliver? Then I, you know what makes this worse? When me and Leona got to the event, guys, at like five, right? So four, five, four going to five, right? There was a lot of drinks that they were putting in the fridge, like a lot. And I like that this time they had pine twist at least. But what I'm trying to say is that they had a lot of drinks, like a lot. They were still unpacking the drinks, basically. Hi, son. We went there, I think, at half past five when MK landed. They're like, the drinks are finished. We're like, guy. <laughs> How? Yeah, there weren't that many people at the bar. Like, when you go to four ways farmers markets, that bar's full. Like, that's where you can tell good, okay, the drinks are done. That bar's full. That there that bar was not full like i was just there like where did the drinks go they don't have nothing they don't have like drinks that cater for non-alcoholic people they only have tonic water and red bull they don't even have coke they don't have sprites or cranberry <laughs> oh guys ugh, i'm laughing because this is so ridiculous like i couldn't even believe it like i couldn't even believe it i feel like you and kevin put it to the text very much sad that i missed him to the sets i don't even know if another musician even paid late because a lot of people are complaining with the event but now that i'm reading on twitter the event was supposed to start at 12 and it didn't start the entire time because apparently they didn't even have drinks they had nothing set up until three so you're telling me from 12 till 3 nothing happened they've been like nah. <laughs> 
Hi. I want us as people of color to start taking ourselves and our businesses seriously and I mean this from the very like from the bottom of my heart because I feel like naturally people do have this mindset of not wanting to support black people because of that it's like you're not gonna be getting the greatest of service in any way or any form and that is why like we always try to push this initiative of like I support black people but like now what happens when the people constantly disappoint us like I'm so bored like what the heck but yeah, um, I'm just like, I'm never going back to Balcony Mix, I'm sorry, like, I'd rather watch it off of YouTube, like, there's nothing that you're missing out on, I promise you, like, nothing at all. There's nothing you're missing out on, I'm telling you. Like, when you watch it on YouTube, it looks like, yo, it's a vibe. Go there. Go there. Go. <laughs> That's all I have to say, really. Shout out to Q and Kevin Moma, like, they, they brought it, like, I was like, Whoa. That's why my voice is gone. I've been screaming the whole night. Where's your mother? Where's your father? Where's your future? <laughs> and so I was the whole night. That's all. But. I'm right.